What's going on, guys? So today, we're going to do, for our next Why, Why You Should Read series, we're going to do Fantastic Four's Point of Origin. So personally, for me, this is one of my favorite stories when it comes to Fantastic Four, coming second only to Jonathan Hickman's work, as does everything when it comes to Marvel. But hey, maybe, maybe I'm just a little biased, but who knows? Uh, <laughs> so I won't keep this intro too long. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And again, we're trying to hit 1,000 subs before the end of the year. You know, really try to get this goal make it real for me. It'd be super awesome if you guys like and subscribe. Be a huge help to the channel. But other than that, let's get started. So like I said in the intro today, we're going to do Fantastic Four's Point of Origin story. And just as the title suggests, Point of Origin isn't just a retcon to Fantastic Four origin, but we're actually getting kind of like a supplemental piece. So it's just an add-on to what has happened behind the scenes for the Fantastic Four's original origin. And this story I actually really enjoyed, and I really hope you guys have a chance to either check it out, maybe online on YouTube from someone else who's going to explain the whole story if you're interested, or if you find it at your local comic shop or online to check it out. So for anyone who isn't familiar with the Fantastic Four's origin, and the short version is that the team built a rocket and went to space to explore a planet that was like Earth, but on their way there, the team was hit by cosmic rays. The cosmic rays gave the, the four crew members their powers, and thus the Fantastic Four were born. So Point of Origin is a six issue series taking place between issues number 14 and number 19 that was released in September of 2019, written by Dan Slott, with the artist being Paco Medina and Jesus Abertov. The story starts off in the National Air and Space Museum where the original rocket called the Marvel One that originally took the Fantastic Four on their original voyage, this rocket will be put up for display at the museum. So during its first showcase, this would bring a lot of emotions for the team. Some were good, like Johnny Storm and Reed Richards, feeling a little nostalgic of the whole experience. But for Ben Grimm, you know, also known as The Thing, or co more commonly known as The Thing, he just felt mostly regret and he hated looking at that ship, knowing that this was the thing that disfigured him and made him an outcast to society. And we see examples of this a lot in the series, and not even just in the series, honestly, but more like throughout the, his time in the Fantastic Four, so essentially his whole time in Marvel. Eventually, as the story would progress though, Johnny and Reed would rebuild the ship, making it perfect, or some might say, fantastic. Sorry, sorry, I, ha I had to shoot my shot. I mean, come on, come on. It's, it's literally right there in front of me. Uh, would you guys not take it? Uh, I'm taking it anyways, doesn't matter. It was fantastic. <laughs> but they wouldn't name, so they would name this new ship the Marvel 2, because it'd be an exact, almost an exact copy of the original ship. Uh, with a little convincing towards Ben, the four would finally decide to return to their original mission to see what was on that planet. So once they had reached this planet, they would find what seems to be a perfect society living on this world, but th what they would find out would actually completely change the foundation of the Fantastic Four, showing the truth of what really happened on that tragic day they were hit by the cosmic rays, changing their lives forever. And from here, everything that happens after this is what I would consider like in spoiler territory. And I want you guys to actually really enjoy the series for what it was. Like I said, I really want you guys to check this out. It's a really good story. Uh, so from here, I do want to talk about the art and then finally the good, the bad, and the ugly. All jokes aside, I think the art was fantastic all around. It's hard to describe, but everything when it came to the art seemed very simple, but yet, yet very descriptive. And I don't know what that's called, if it's even called anything. But maybe someone out there that knows more than me about art, because I'm gonna tell you what, I'm I'm literally caveman brain when it comes to art. I it's just not my thing. <laughs> I just I'm like ah, pretty pictures, and like that's like how how much I can process. Maybe someone else can probably describe it better. But I do want to say I think the coloring in the comics are amazing, especially when it comes to the background and all the small details they added to it. I really do like it a lot, and. I just give big props to the colorist for this. But moving on to the good, the bad, and the ugly, the good thing is the story itself and how it expands the origin of the Fantastic Four, and this brought a lot of character development to the core group, especially for the Thing, and we even see the Human Torch get married, which is kinda crazy, kinda, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Like, do you guys even care about that? The bad for, is for me, it felt like it dragged a little bit. And I felt like they could have done the story in four issues rather than six. Finally, the ugly part is I really did like a lot of the characters on the planet they visit, and I would have enjoyed seeing what happened to their society after this crisis that took place during the series. But they might have already done this already. I never finished the series for some reason, but I do plan to finish it in the future. 
So maybe, maybe that my ugly will be uh, fixed. Who knows? But that's really it, guys. So tell me what you think. Are you guys interested in a story like this? Do you guys want something else? I'm hoping next week we're going to do Jango Fett story. So we're going to kind of dive into Star Wars a little bit. I'm really excited about that. And again, if you guys like the stuff, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And I really want to hit this goal of 1,000 subs by the end of the year. So other than that, guys, I hope to see you on the next video. And I'll check you guys out later. See ya.